Again, let's draw the graph for positive externality. Let's assume that MPC equals to MSC and there is no marginal external cost. Now let's make, uh, make the initial assumption that MPD equals to MSB, i.e. there is no external benefits. Under this condition, I will consume where MPB equals to MPC since I as an individual only considers private costs and benefits. However, let's say there's indeed marginal external benefit. This causes MPB to be different from MSB and MSB will be higher than MPB due to the existence of the MEB. Now, as an individual, I will consume when M where MPB equals to, equals to MPC at Q0. However, the socially optimum point is at Q1 where MSB equals to, is equal to MSB. And hence, society values the last unit of good consumed as much as it costs to produce it. Hence, there is a difference between the socially optimum point and where I'm consuming. I am actually under-consuming. Why? Because the consumer does not care about how much he contributes to the nation as a whole, he simply prefers to care only about his own benefits. Hence, he consumes at MPB equals to MPC, but society will be better off if he consumes at MSC equals to MSB. Hence, there is under-consumption. Let's analyze the welfare effects in the next checkpoint.